Good evening. Your local news source, WFBC, is learning of breaking news from Bethlehem about the birthing of new king. I have heard with my two going gentlemen, Matthew and Luke. Can one can one of of you tell your what? Listen, listeners, what you know about this book. Yes. Yes, yes, of course. As you know, we have been told of a Messiah coming to save God's people. Well, this Messiah needs to be a descendant of Abraham and David. Well, the lineage of this baby does go back 42 generations. We know Abraham's descendants include David and David's descendants survived the exile and from the exile to today. There are 14 generations in each lineage. Well, a young couple, Joseph and Mary here, were engaged to be married when Mary discovered she is expecting a baby. Since Joseph and Mary had not been together, Joseph was going to quietly break off the engagement. But an angel presented himself to Joseph and told him not to break off the engagement and to name him Jesus. Then King Herod came up with this census idea. So Joseph and Mary traveled to Bethlehem to be counted. Since there were so many people in town, there was no space for them to stay in a hotel, so they went to a cave that housed animals. It was here that Mary delivered her son, and he was named Jesus. While all of this excitement was happening, there were some magi from the east that saw a bright star and followed it. They stopped off to see King Herod and asked him where the new king was born. The king did not know about any new king, but asked them to be sure and tell him if they found the baby. As the Magi followed the star, they found Joseph and Mary and the baby and presented them with gold, frankincense, and myrrh. In a dream, the Magi are told not to return to tell the king where they found the baby, and instead they go home. Joseph and Mary were told by God they need to leave Bethlehem and go to Egypt. Thank you, Matthew. Matthew, that is quite the story. Is there anything that you want to add? Definitely. I <laughs> don't Definitely. My esteemed colleague Matthew shared a great story, but here's what happened. My assistant Priya Zachariah, who is married to Mary Sister Elizabeth, is married to Sister Elizabeth. Zachariah and Elizabeth had been unable to have any children. Mary came to visit one day, and Elizabeth realized she was ex expecting a baby since she dumped her toy inside of her when Mary entered the room. During the visit, Gabriel, who is also an angel of God, visited Mary and told her she would to have a baby and she would name him Jesus. A couple of months ago, Elizabeth had a son and named him John. Matthew and I agree on this part of the story. King Herod came up with a census idea, so Joseph and Mary traveled to Bethlehem to be counted. Since there were so many people in, in town, there was no space for them to stay in a hotel. I mean, so they went to a cave that housed animals. It was here that Mary delivered her son and named him Jesus. Shortly after Jesus was born out in the fields, there was a chorus of angels announcing the birth of Messiah to a, to a group of shepherds. They were afraid at first, but when they but then they decided to go find a new baby.
When they arrived, they knelt down and shared words of praise and thanks. And praise and thanks. Mary listens to everything and remembers the words in her heart. Following our Jewish custom, Joseph and Mary will take baby Jesus to the temple to be purified before they leave Bethlehem and go home. Aha! Thank you, Matthew and Luke. We both agree that Messiah that we have a we have wanted for so long has been born in name Jesus. This is your news reporter from WFBC saying good night.